Welcome to My Chefin. My name is Chef Fran, and today I am so excited. We're doing something from my home state. Hello, my chef and family. I am so excited to share some great news with you guys. And the news is, oh, I can't even contain myself, I'm so excited. I am a first time author. I have my new book out called A Twist on Boring Salads, A Salad a Day. So now, you guys can have a healthy, nutritious salad that's a little jazzed up, be the star of the party by bringing one of these salads to an event. And if you're on that healthy journey and that healthy kick, why continue with the same boring garden salad, right? Your cucumbers, your tomatoes, your lettuce, sometimes a little shredded carrot. And if you want to spark it up a little bit, then you might have Caesar salad, but you could go way beyond that now with, look at all of these gorgeous salads, 30 salads for 30 days a week, uh, 30 days a month. Sorry, I'm so excited. I said a week, hmm. a month. Want to show you a little bit inside so you get a little sneak peek here. Nice kind of, you know, big writing. Look at all the stuff. Just to kind of get, look at this. All of these salads are in full color. No black and white pictures. So you can see the full on version of what you're going to be making. Nice big prints. Take a look. Take a look. Look at that. So I would love if you guys can support um, getting this book. Because this book is not just for you and being the star of the party, the star of the event and keeping healthy. It also helps support a great charity, um, a family suffering from food insecurity. So you can get yourself a copy on Amazon.com. Who doesn't love Amazon? So go to Amazon.com and you can put Chef Fran. If you can't remember the name of the book, I'll come up. Or you could put a twist on boring salads. Go and self, get yourself a copy. Love you guys. Bye. Not just from my home state, but from the local vicinity, from where I somewhat grew up. Not exactly the borough I grew up, but the borough I used to frequent. Um, and when I say boroughs, because I know every state it's different. Some states don't have boroughs. Some states have towns and cities. So I guess you can call it like a town. And I am doing chopped cheese. So if you're familiar with chopped cheese and you've been to New York, which is the state, and you've been to Harlem, Spanish Harlem actually, where this comes from, then you're familiar with chopped cheese. And the thing with chopped cheese is that you could only kind of get it from a bodega. Bodega, you're probably like, bodega, what is that? Well, not everybody has a bodega in, in their state as well or in every town or city, but bodega is something so significant to New York itself. It's the heart and feel, the beat of like New York. It's your corner store, but like your mini mart. Not just your corner store, but like your mini mart. And a bodega has almost a little bit of everything in there. And of course, they're famous for chopped cheese, particularly the place I'll tell you soon um, that it originated from. But bodegas have like even diapers if you need to get it for your baby. Um, you know, things for women if you need it. Um, you know, it's not just your soda pop, cookies, ice cream and chips. It's other things you can get. Sometimes they even have hot meals with like, you know, like rice and chicken as well, depending um, on the bodega. It's usually on a corner of bodega. And like I said, it's like your 
mini mart where you can kind of get your everyday essential and it's usually the neighborhood people who go there and the owners or the management usually knows them because they, they come in there sometimes several times a day or maybe in the morning before they go to work to get their coffee and their you know muffin and they'll come and get their chopped cheese in the evening after partying at the club because some of them this particular place is open 24 hours it's a place actually where a lot of hip-hop artists have frequent to eat the classic chopped cheese like jay-z kanye west cameron just to kind of name jim jones to kind of name a few who love this chopped cheese and you're like okay so you're talking about this chopped cheese what is it it is not your answer to the Philly cheesesteak, which sometimes people tend to think. We're not here trying to compete. New York, we're just our own type of people. We're not competing with Philadelphia. They got their thing, we have our thing. Our thing is chopped cheese. Now, the thing that makes them stand out from everybody else is that they have a special seasoning blend, which nobody really knows what it is. So some people will use seasoning salt like I have, or they will use black and pepper because nobody knows what their seasoning is. So that's what makes them stand out. Now, like I said, they um, it's usually done on a hero bread and we can't always get hero breads, you know, but that's something so significant to like, you know, the bodegas having the hero bread. So if you don't have that, you can use a hoagie, which I have, shredded lettuce, sliced tomatoes, and the classic American cheese. Your craft, you know, with the wrapper, American cheese, huh, which I probably haven't eaten in, in a while, but that's what makes your great chopped cheese with your burger meat and Thousand Isle combination. I'm calling Thousand Island because it's your mayo and it's your ketchup, you know, and your onions. So, so simplistic on your flat top, you're going to put your onions and you're going to put your burger meat. And the reason they call it chop is because you're chopping the meat down. So as you let a little one, one side of your patty get a little brown, you flip it over. And before the other side gets kind of fully cooked, you start chopping it and you just keep chopping into pieces. And then you end up forming it into like this oval patty and putting your cheese on it to let it melt. Um, and then you pick it up and put it in your, you know, you, you dress your hero with the mayo and then the ketchup and then you put your chopped meat, chopped cheese meat. And then you, of course, then put your lettuce and then your tomatoes. And then you have your chopped cheese. Now, a lot of people have done this. I'm gonna try and do my best, except again, I don't know what their real seasoning is. They use Haji's Deli, who is the creator and the inventor, so it's said, of chopped cheese. Um, this is something actually that the Salah, who is the manager, he's been the manager over there for 15 years at Haji's Deli, has said that this is something that they would eat back home and back home being Middle East. And except that they wouldn't use, more than likely they probably didn't use beef. They probably used lamb, not 100%, but more than likely they probably used lamb. And they didn't use cheese, he said. So they probably used some uh, some sort of other bread and they had their chopped meat. And so they took that idea and added to it, knowing that they know Americans love cheese, like I love cheese, you probably do too, and made chopped cheese. But they said that this is something that is kind of from back home and they added their own spin and twist. And that's what I love about cooking, adding your own twist and spin is something so simplistic has become so huge and it's huge to the people in the neighborhoods who live in bodega areas, you know? And particularly, like I said, the hip hop world all come to this deli to get the best and famous chopped cheese. And this deli is on 110 and 1st Avenue. It considered the area of Spanish Harlem. And we all know that Harlem is classic. So let's get started. Okay, our chopped cheese, the first thing we saw is that I am going to spray our flat top grill with olive oil, which is like the UK. And then we have our beef fatty, which is by the 6 through 12 iron, psyllium, and zinc. And then we have our onions, 
which is vitamin B6, C, folate, magnesium, potassium. And then we have our um, seasoned salt, which is vitamins A, B6, B12, C, D, E, K, copper, calcium, magnesium, potassium, selenium, iron, manganese, zinc, and phosphorus. Then we have our classic American cheese, vitamins A, D, K, calcium, magnesium, and zinc. We have our hoagie roll, hoagie bread, vitamins B1, B2, niacin, herbal 5, and folic acid. And we have our mayo, vitamins A, E, and K. Our ketchup, vitamins A, C, calcium, and herbal 5. We have our shredded iceberg lettuce, vitamins A, K, calcium, and folate. And we have our tomatoes, vitamins C, folate, and potassium. Real facts. Food insecurity can impact anyone, but still it can impact different communities differently. One in five black women are currently facing hunger. To learn more, you can go to jdhcdc.org. Here I have my onions. You hear that? I'm putting it on here. Now onions is very water-based. Um, so, I love bench scrapers. I used to use them a lot in culinary school when we're cutting dough. But the thing is that people tend to forget how sharp they can be. So, Right. Now I'm going to actually put our patty. Our burger patty here. So here I am. Just a little food in here. I say that the onions need a little season too. Give it some love. There we go. So we just kind of let this um, crust up, get a little color, then we'll flip it over and we'll start topping it. Getting it cooked down, getting this beautiful color, we're topping it down. Beautiful caramelization. Now it's time to chop our meat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's chop our meat. That's why they call it chopped cheese. There you go. So it's just basically chopping your meat down. Just like this. The last thing you do, you cut it down like this, like this, like this. Okay. And then you go across. And you just keep chopping. And then you cook it. Afterwards, you will mix your onions. You'll combine your onions afterwards inside together. Right now, you just kind of let it hang out on its side here. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish it smelled as good as you guys could smell it. So this is where the chopped part comes, from where we chopped cheese. And cheese is obviously when we put the cheese on it and melts together. That's so where you'll get the chopped cheese part. Okay. Okay, I now have done this. Forgive me guys, I don't have my correct spatula right now. 
This is not the type of spatula that they use, so I just want to be authentic and honest with you. Um, the spatula that they do use, since I have a non-scratch, um, a non-stick uh, grill top, I wouldn't use metal on it, but it's usually, um, I'll get one of them in a moment and show you generally the spatula that they it's used in the bodegas to make the chopped cheese. So I, like I said, I'm using this batch at the moment, but generally it's used with two metal spatulas because it's usually to cook on a metal stove top at the bodega. And it's usually like this size, but a metal. And I'm sure you guys have seen them when they've made eggs with it or pancakes, you know, different places. So unfortunately my other one, I'm on set. Um, my, my other one is at home. So I had to just kind of improvise and use something else. But generally that is what is used to be able to chop up because of the metal and pick up. So in the interim, I am using this. Okay, now my meat is pretty much cooked. So I'm going to start combining my wonderful onions with it. Oh my gosh, what a marriage. What a wonderful marriage. Hold on. Now, in the interim, right on that same grill where I had my onions, give me a moment. Get our bread ready. Actually, let me actually put this to one of my breads. So I'm putting my cheese down. I'm getting ready to put my mayo and my ketchup on my bread that I toasted up. My cheese is starting to melt. Okay. Hopefully, it stays together. Okay, here's my mayo. Of course, they'd want to misbehave. Why would my ketchup want to behave? Why? <laughs> okay. Okay. So I am going to pick up my chopped cheese. I usually it's picked up with both breads. Let's see if I can kind of get this with the other ones. I don't think so. Again, guys, if you want to do this at home, use this spatula. So here's just a little salt. 
and a little black pepper on my tomatoes. All right, and so our chopped cheese is done. And get the phone off the board here. Great old sandwich here. Okay. Hmm, this must be my top. Sorry, guys. Okay. There we go. Well, guys, chopped cheese is done. Now, this is how you get it when you go to Aji's. And if you're just doing it at home and you don't want to use the foil or you don't want to use parchment paper, you just do it like this. So this is our chopped cheese. This is our chopped cheese. As you notice, it was really simple. You can buy some ground beef and form it in a patty form yourself. Or you could just get hamburger patty, you know, your American cheese. Cause you gotta use American cheese if you're gonna make an authentic chopped cheese. Wanna get some onions, chop up, lettuce, shredded lettuce, or you could take the lettuce yourself, iceberg, and shred it up. Tomatoes, you know, um, use the seasoning of your choice since we don't know what the original seasoning is. Um, I had just used some seasoning salt. Like I said, some people use black and pepper. And um, ketchup and mayo, which, tends to make Thousand Island, right? So you need to have ketchup and mayo and you need to have a hoagie style bread and you make yourself some chopped cheese. So let's dig in. I'm gonna leave this in its wrapper. I'm gonna take a bite of this, the classic. Mm-hmm. Toasting that bread is everything. Hmm. Like I said, I don't really eat American cheese often, but it brings me back to my childhood. American cheese. And of course, we all pretty much, if we eat meat, know what ground beef tastes like. I just season it with some simple Seasoned salt. We know what lettuce tastes like, as well as tomatoes. Could be bland if you don't put a little something on it. And um, I love the combination of mayo and ketchup. Because this is right up my alley. Something super simple you can make. And guess what? When you make it, you'll be having. Spanish Harlem in your heart, you'll be having Haji's Deli in your heart. Sky Blue Deli in your heart. Listen, if you ever get a chance to go to New York and you're able to go to Harlem, definitely stop by and say that you had the famous chopped cheese from Haji's Deli. If not, until then, you know how to make it. Make it at home. This would be great for like kids. You know, you have children. There's some friends over. Um, not your sloppy Joe, but it's a different twist. Listen, here's our call to action. Don't forget to click the like button by giving by giving us a virtual hug. When you do that, it allows myself and my team to know that you're enjoying what we're putting out for you, and it honestly encourages us to keep going. And it's the support and love from you guys that helps us to keep going. And if you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. And share this channel with your family and friends because sharing is truly caring. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. Where well, we greet you here with open arms and great big hugs. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Learning how to make chopped cheese from my home state, New York, and going to one of 
the boroughs that I frequent, Manhattan, because Harlem is in Manhattan, and learning how to make chopped cheese. This is not Philly cheesesteak, and it's not an answer to it, like I said, but it's our own thing called chopped cheese. Really simple to make. I thank you for hanging out with me today. If you have some other way of doing this, uh, your own version, because, you know, this is all about, you know, passion, right? Like I told you that the guy who runs the place, you know, being from the Middle East, says that they would eat something like this similar back home, except that they didn't add cheese to it. So, you know, if you have a thing that you have your own twist to it, comment below and let us know. You know, we'd love to hear from you. We do answer the comments. We really appreciate you. And I have to tell you, don't forget to get your copy of my book, A Twist on Boring, Sa a Twist on Boring Salads, A Salad a Day. So there's 30 salads in here that are all beautiful looking, make you the star of the party, make you the star of the event that you go to and you bring these salads. So get yourself, and you'll also be doing a great deed by supporting the Joseph Dreamhouse charity. And this is why I did my cookbook, to support them. And I hope that you do too. And everybody wins. They win and you win if you purchase it. Go on Amazon right now and put a twist to boring salads or put Chef Fran Glover. It will come up. Or even better, it will be down in the link below for you. Click it. And get this book. Make yourself happy. Make the families that suffer from food insecurity happy. Thank you again. Love you guys. Have a great day. Bye.